Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. As we all know that column is a compression member, we provide vertical reinforcement that is longitudinal reinforcement in columns that is the main bar and we provide transverse reinforcement that is called lateral ties. If we construct a G plus 3 building or G plus 4 building or even more than that, we cannot provide the single bar from the foundation till the rooftop level for columns. So we need to provide the vertical bars right as a longitudinal reinforcement we cannot provide the single bars of that much height because the floor height will be more so what we have to do we need to lap the reinforcement bars in columns so in this video let's discuss about what is lapping zone for columns why we need to do the lapping in columns and what are all the important factors we need to consider while lapping the bars reinforcement bars in columns so without delay let's begin now first let's discuss about what is lap length it is the length which is provided to overlap two bars so when we need to overlap two bars in that place, we need to provide the lap length. And this lap length is helping to transfer the load from one bar to another bar safely. As we all know that the slab load will transfer to beam and the beam will transfer the load to the columns. So when the column is carrying the load, the load will be transferring through the reinforcement bars. So to transfer the load from one bar to another bar safely, we need to provide the lap length. Because we are just splitting the bar and then we are overlapping the two bars so in that case the load which is coming from the top has to be transferred to the bottom bar safely we need to provide some distance some length we need to overlap the bar at a particular distance so that length is called the lap length Next, let's discuss about why do we need to provide lap length. Generally, length of rebar is 12 meter, which is produced from the manufacturer. So, from the manufacturer, we cannot get the rebar length more than 12 meter. So, what we will do if we wanted to construct a 5-story building, 6-story building or high-rise building. So, in that case, we need to overlap the bars, overlap the 12 meter bars up to the required height. So, that is why we need to provide the lap length. Also, it helps to transfer the load from one bar to another bar safely. As we have discussed before, the load from the top bar has to be transferred safely to the bottom bar. So, for that also we need to provide this lap length. If lap length is not sufficient, what happens? Bar may split and cracks develop in the concrete. So, this leads to the collapse of the entire structure. In order to avoid these things, we need to provide the proper lap length and proper lapping zone as per the codes and standards. Now we know what is lap length and why do we need to provide the lap length. Next, let's discuss some of the important points which we need to remember. So where do we provide this lapping? Lapping shall be provided where bending moment is zero. As we know, column is a compression member. The stresses will be more at the junction, column beam junction. So, in that area, we should not provide the lap. That is this area, column beam junction. This is column beam junction. So, in this area, we shall not provide the lapping of bars. Also, near the support, near the column beam support, the bending moment will be more. And in the middle of the column, the bending moment will be less. So, in that area, we need to provide the lapping of bars avoid providing lapping in tensile zone and column beam junction so we need to avoid providing lapping of bars in the tensile zone this is the tensile zone of columns and as well as column beam junctions ties shall be closely spaced to the entire lap length so where we provide the lapping of bars in that area ties has to be closely spaced lateral ties here the tie spacing is far and here this tie spacing is very close. Now let's look into how do we provide the lapping of bars. Lapping of bars has to be provided in the staggered manner. That means like alternate bar has to be lapped like this. See here the lapping is done over here and the next one the lapping is done here and the next bar the lapping is done here and the next one lapping is done here. See in this picture if you see here all the bars are lapped at the same level. So this is not correct. This is the correct one and this is the wrong one. We are not supposed to provide at the same level. Lapping shall be provided always in a staggered manner. 
as per is 13920 2016 the column beam junction detailing is given here it is mentioned as this is the lapping zone here we need to consider the clear height so from this height h by 4 from the support and here h by 4 both side h by 4 we need to consider so in this area we should not provide the lapping so in the middle part is the lapping zone near the support closely spaced ties are provided as per special confining reinforcement this special confining reinforcement shall be provided over a length l not from the face of the joint towards mid span of beams and mid height of column on either side of the joint where l not is not less than larger lateral dimension of the member at the section where yielding occurs second one is 1 by 6th of clear span of the member or 450 mm so according to this condition we need to provide the special confining reinforcement on either side of the joint as we have seen this l not is the 1 by 6 of clear span we can consider here that is h by 6 we can consider so up to from here h by 6 we need to provide the closed ties and after that we can provide the normal ties and again we need to provide the closed ties for the lapping zone let me explain you with the drawing so here if you see this is the column reinforcement arrangement so as we have discussed this is l by 4 as per the code this is l by 4 so in these two zones we should not provide lapping of bars so in the middle area is the lapping zone whatever i have clouded here this is the lapping zone so in this area we need to lap the bar from here l by 6 i have taken and similarly from this support also l by 6 i have taken so this is that l not whatever we have seen in the code 1 by 6 of the clear span here this is your clear span this is the floor height from this you need to deduct beam depth and then you need to consider as a clear span here the lateral ties is closely spaced for l by 6 distance and then it is provided normally and again throughout the lapping zone it is closely spaced and again it is normal and after that again l by 6 up to l by 6 it is closely spaced see here the lapping is done in a staggered manner so for this you have to take the center line of the lapping zone so if you take the center line like this the one bar is lapped over here and again the next bar is lapped here above above the center line and the next bar is below the center line now let's consider this as a zone 1 l by 4 this l by 4 as zone 1 similarly this bottom l by 4 as zone 1 and the middle area is zone 2 so in any case you should not provide lapping of bar at zone 1 so this is the right area to provide the lapping of bars when we draw the bending moment diagram for column bending moment at the middle here is 0 so here we will be having more bending moment at this area and similarly at this area also will be having more bending moment and in the middle we will be having bending moment is zero where bending moment is zero in that area we need to provide the lapping of bars now let's calculate the distance so here we have the floor to floor height as 10 feet let's take the clear span so from this we need to deduct the beam depth here beam depth is 1 feet so we get the clear span as 9 feet and l by 4 we need to calculate that is 2 feet 3 inches and this side also it is 2 feet 3 inches and middle we get 4 feet 6 inches as the lap zone then the middle area we can provide the lapping in the staggered manner now let's calculate the lap length so here is the column reinforcement detail six numbers of 16 mm dia bars and ties is p8 at 9 in center to center 8 mm dia bar at 9 in center to center generally we provide 48 d as the lap length for columns if we go to higher grade Grade of concrete and higher grade of steel, this lap length will vary. Here D is the diameter of the bar. So here we have all the reinforcement bar, all the longitudinal bars of same diameter. Here we don't have different diameter of bars. In case if we have different dia of bar, we need to use the smallest dia of the bar to calculate the lap length. So for example, if we have four numbers of 16 mm dia bar and two numbers of 12 mm dia bar, in that case we need to use the 12 mm as the 
diameter of the bar to calculate the lap length. So here let's consider 16 mm. 768 mm is the lap length. So that much lap if we here we need to provide. 768 mm is the lap length. Let's consider as 800 mm. So here 800 mm we need to lap the bars. Similarly in this area above the center line we need to provide 800 mm as the lap length. Let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed till now. Lap length is the length which is provided to overlap two bars. Since we get only the length of the bar as 12 meter from the manufacturer. So in that case we need to provide the length of the bar according to the height of the building. We need to lap the bar where the bending moment is zero. Near the support the bending moment will be more. The stresses will be more. So in that area we should not provide lapping of bars. Also where the column beam junction is there in that area also we shall not provide the lapping of bars. Only where the bending moment is zero in that area we need to provide lapping of bars. As per IS 13920 on either side of the support we need to provide L by 4. So in that zone we shall not provide lapping. In the middle area we need to provide the lapping of bars. If we don't provide lapping of bars properly what happens the reinforcement bar, the reinforcement bars may split and that create cracks in the concrete and that leads to the collapse of the entire structure. So in order to avoid that we need to provide proper lapping and lapping has to be provided in the staggered manner. So friends I hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching.